Guys, 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 guess what? We're back to Subnautica. Hello, everybody, and thank you for joining me. Today, we come back to the world 4546B in Subnautica Below Zero, the standalone e expansion. I think that's what it is to the fan favorite underwater survival game Subnautica. Uh, um, I, I know very little about this game. It was only made available for early access release yesterday and I haven't had the chance to open it till now um, I've been intentionally staying away from as many spoilers as I could all I know is it takes place after the events of the first game so it looks like our main character um, I think his name is Riley Robinson correct me if I'm getting that wrong but basically we we and he escaped the planet, came home, and I guess spread the word about everything that we found there. And uh, as would make sense, the government's like, huh, a new planet full of potentially useful alien relics and species. Let's go, let's go check it out. So in this game, all I know is that we play as a character named Robin, who is a xenolinguist basically talks or learns to talk to aliens. And so I'm guessing she was sent here along with a bunch of other researchers, like biologists, technologists? I don't know what, to, what else to call them. But um, I guess was sent here with a sort of science team to try and find whatever they could. So I guess we're going to explore the events of that expedition. So here we go. Let's do survival. A whole new adventure awaits us. Now it's still early access, so there could be plenty of story chunks of this missing. Um, you know, maybe some cre not all the creatures have been implemented yet, nor all the vehicles and items and all that stuff. Um, it might be buggy. We might it might be rendered unplayable. We'll find out here in a short bit. <coughs> okay, long ass loading screen done. Let's press the button to get in. We've already got a base set up and everything. So I guess the, uh... The expedition's already underway. Oh, plus tab to open and close PA. Okay. Ooh, that's what I do every morning. Nice room. And if I understand correctly, I believe that's supposed to be us. That's Robin. The character we're joining on this little adventure. Got a vase, vase plant. I recognize so much of this. Ooh, abandoned PDA. What is this? Okay, so this is Robin Goodall. Um, that's the name of our character. And this must be her job interview for why she wanted to get on. All right, I'll leave that open for you guys to read on, on your own time. So basically, we're a bio or a xenolinguist studying how to communicate with alien species. I guess the people in charge of this wanted us to come so that we could understand the alien technology. They've got ads for turning in alien technology for uh, good rewards. Ooh, can I? Can, will this work? No. Do I need money? The Vesper. What's that? Your eyes in the sky over alien worlds. Okay, so that's a that's a space hub that's probably orbiting us right now. Ooh, another PDA. What's that? Profile Research Station Zero. Okay, so this is just details on where we are right now. This very building. Oh, I can now open this door. Oh, I think I'm snooping around someone else's room. Uh, oh, they've got the, the kitty poster. Just like us. Lots of, uh... I think those are batteries. Oh, a new abandoned PDA. Weekly report research base zero. <laughs> Please describe your planned steps for self-improvement. I'm going to bed. 
So I guess that's the whole crew that uh, went on this trip. Holy crap, it's... Or... Is it because her face was all over the Aurora's uh, locker rooms when we were there? And who's that? That looks kind of like the main character from the last game, Riley. I can't remember which of these two characters looks like us, but anyway. Ooh. Oh, nice lab. I like it. Do I have a scanner or anything? Nope, I got nothing. Hmm. I'm guessing we'll be able to come back and explore this later. The cargo room. There's got to be something in here for me. Yep, another PDA. Task list. Harvest edibles, translate alien symbols. That's I guess that's why I'm here. Send research samples to Vesper via rocket. Send weekly status report, varnish prawn suits, repair weather station, perform monthly patrol of remote installations, test whether pe penging flock are comfortable enough to swim with humans. Oh, apparently they are. In induct new support personnel. Personnel. Greenhouse. Oh, wow. Please tell me we got to build one of these. Oh, that's ambient noise produced by a speaker. I love it. I love this place. I want to live here. Although I'm guessing the researchers very well don't. Oh god, it's chilly. Just like it is outside right now. Temperatures last night got into the single digits, which, you know, it, it happens, but it's not that common around where I live. Frostbite weather, you know? Zero. This is oh. Vesper. Come in. Hi, Sam. We lost contact with Jeffries up at the research site. Okay, I'll check it out. Understood. You know, the formal bit's cute, but we've shared a room. Would it kill your career to act like... So that's our twin. Before? Robin, you know these conversations are monitored. I don't care who knows it's cute. I've been here two weeks. We've hardly spoken. Because you went straight to the planet. <coughs> Find Jeffries. Chat later. Yes, Mom. All right, all right. This is our station setup. I guess that's the ice hole that we drilled, and it looks like it's already frozen over again. Oh, look at the cute snowman! With strange alien coral for arms and a dive suit. Oops. Uh, we're just going to pretend that didn't happen. So our objective is to find Jeffries. There's a lot more land here than there was in the previous game. But it's cool that they've already got good voice acting set up in here, because in the previous Subnautica, it took us, like, a year or something like that to actually get voice acting. What are you? Oh, you're cute. You're a giant flower anemone thing. Anemone? Anemone? Ane yeah. <laughs> well, there's lots of you. You know what? You kind of look like a space heater. Interesting. So are you are you mutant mutant plant or are you an, you're probably animal, very much like a sea an, sea an enemy, like maybe a colonial type of creature with very creepy eyes. Ooh, a deep green glow, very res reminiscent of the alien technology. It looks like, yeah, it's one of those really cool lights. That was a weird noise. I guess it, I guess it came from the this nice cave. <laughs> nice cave, ice cave. Ha <laughs> ha ha ha. Forgive me. It's been a long day. Whoa, that is pretty. It looks like the night sky almost. Ooh, gr glowing green snow I'm, or ice. I've never seen glowing green uh, ice. Ooh, what's the uh, what's the verdict here, ladies and gentlemen? Straight ahead or right? Let's go investigate the alien ruins because I guess my character is more familiar with that. Ooh. 
I have no clue what any of this is, which is dumb because both my character and I are scientists. Oh. How'd you know my name? I come in peace. Sam, the building just powered up. It spoke to me. In English. It's never done that before. I think. I'm fine. No sign of Jeffries. I've got an electrical storm on the sensors. Whoa, fuck! Oh. I think it's already here. I thought that. that cavern isn't safe. I thought that came from need to get back. my world. Sam? Ah, damn, damn it. it. Hey, that's my line. PDA dropped on the floor. Alien reached site zero. Referred to as the Almanac. Okay, so we finally, I guess, assigned a name to the alien species that designed all of this as the Almanac. Oh, I have a work doc. Oh, okay, so this is details on me. Wow, I'm 48? If, if that was me in the picture, I look good. <laughs> Alright, I'll, I'll probably look further into that later. Oh, I don't have a tablet. I'm guessing finding a tablet or a code is my way in. So let's see about exploring the cave to the right. Whoa. I guess that's the uh, lightning from the electric storm outside. Okay, so yeah, that's slightly floating rocks. No big deal. Oh, I can't go this way, can I? Huh. Okay. What is my prerogative at this point? Am I still looking for... Jeffreys! I wonder if there's something in the PDA that tells me... Uh, about the code to get in. Hmm. Bear with me, folks. This is, uh, all spanking brand new. I have no clue what to do. Well, that didn't work. Alright, let's, I guess, go back the way we came. That's the only thing I can think of. Oh, get back, get back, get back. Well, I don't think going back the way we came is is happening. Can I come up this though? Oh yeah, they definitely set this, set it up for us to walk up this way. It's cool. Little ice pools. A dam of ice. I hope it doesn't break open. Oh cool, you can see straight the ice looks amazing in this game. I got a feeling we won't be able to come back this way again. Ow! My shins! Damn it. At least I have a self-repairing uh, set of goggles with a heads-up display. <laughs> Alright. I wonder how common electrical storms in this area are. Probably has a lot to do with the cold, because have you noticed how um, whenever it's really cold outside, if you try to get into your car without grounding yourself, it tends to give you an electric shock? What the hell? <gasps> oh no! Well, I think a massive glacier just completely crushed our, the research station. Oh! Um, there is something in the sky there. I don't know what that is, but oh, there's the Vesper! Well, if that's in orbit, it's probably okay, but, uh... Ah... Uh, only one thing for it! Into the what? Oh... Here we go again! Only this time we kinda know we're supposed to be here. But, uh, whoa! I can breach without the sea- without the sea glide. Awesome. Your environment is no longer safe. And your PDA has rebooted in emergency mode. Be advised, oh, okay. 
High wind speeds will cause lethal exposure in four minutes. All right, Arctic Survival Guide. High winds result in rapid onset of hypothermia. So, you know, stay warm. Remember to pack a, a lunch, toasty hot beverage. Always dress appropriately. You know, basic stuff. Survival checklist. Retreat to a safe environment. Administer first aid required. I'm running out of oxygen. <laughs> Come on, Brad. You've only been gone for like a month. You should know how this works by now. So I guess, yeah, surface, get oxygen, get back in. In an environment like this, it makes sense that the water would be significantly warmer than the air outside because, like, ice layers function as a sort of, um, an insulator? What is this? Oh, cool, it's an oxygen plant. It allows me to keep going. That's new. Well, sort of. Before, we had the brain coral thing, which expelled air at a constant rate. That's that's a neat, uh, neat take on it. And this is just a spot for me to retreat to. What's that? Limestone out outcropping. Oh, <gasps> it's the fishies, our fishy friends. Hey, boyas. Come here, boomerang. New creature and Mr. Bladderfish. Ooh, and hoopfish. I missed you guys. Oops. Yeah, let's grab a lot of these. We'll probably need the food. Come here. Um, here we go. <gasps> An eye eye, I think. Yes, eye eye. Yes. I got you right. What's this? What is this? What are you? Grav trap fragment. But I don't have a. Uh, I don't have a scanner yet, so that that's kind of useless to me. Might as well gather as much materials as I can. Lots of new plants and stuff around here. Whoa! Yes. I'm out in open water. Stay where you are. I'm sending a rescue shuttle. No, I'm okay. I just need shelter. Fine. I'm sending a temporary habitat instead. Look up. Look Thank up. you, Sam. Call me when you get there. Okay. Discovered. What? Here it comes. <gasps> it's the pingus. The ping pangings. I can't jump onto that ice yet. Okay. What's this? It's floating around over here. Anyway, let's see. Where is that habitat? Two hundred meters up in closing. What? You guys are adorable. Hi. Pretty. Can't talk now. Got to Okay, so this is our version of a, of the um of the uh escape pod. Yes, that's it. Except this one is already based underwater. That's cool. Oh, we're in the base. Yay. Ooh, I've got some storage in here. Sam, I'm at the habitat. Any word on Jeffries? Nothing yet. And the facility? I missed this. It said my name. <laughs> I need to know why. I know. Make something to eat. Get equipped. I'll have answers. You by get then. it. Will do. Uh, excuse me. Let's cook all the fish. Actually, no. Let's not cook all the fish. Let's only cook what we need. And then we'll cook the other fish later, because in the previous game, at least, if you cooked rotten fish, it just became cooked fish. It didn't really continue to rot. Anyway, I should try to make some tools. Let's see. To make a scanner, I need a battery and titanium. Uh, battery, ribbon plant, and copper ore. Interesting. So some new materials. All right, let's try and gather some. Whoa, what is this? Okay, that's just rock formations. They look like a creature, though. Alright. Anything around here that I can grab? There's some quartz. Want to get that. What are you? You look interesting. But I don't know what. Whoa! 
What are you? We found some new friends. Oh, that's ice. That's ice on my head. Ow. Who are you? You look like those mola fish things. What just happened? What just ate what? What are you? What are you? Oh god, it's a symbiote. What? Symbiote. I want, I want that back. Come here. Okay, so we can't grab this. Let, let's be careful, but I like I like these guys. They're like giant mola mola fish. Oh, and they can they can give me oxygen? I love it. They gave us more ways to get oxygen in this game. It's very dark in here though. Oh, these are cool. They look like those um I forget what they were called. But they're like, kind of like some prehistoric uh, underwater earth creatures. Arthropod type things. Alright, what is down here? Anything I can... Okay, okay. I'm swimming. I'm, I'm swimming. <laughs> oh shit! <gasps> okay! And back down we go. Wouldn't that be cool if we got to visit the Aurora again? But I think we're on like a totally different part of the planet here, so it, that ain't happening. A lot of these plants are very familiar though, I love it. Sweet, we got silver. Silver's good. Now, we've met some dangerous creatures, but nothing overly dangerous. All right, all right, I'm going. What is that sound I'm hearing? Is that the ice cracking? Oh, it's it's the electric storm still up there. Okay. Or I guess a new one occurred. I'm not sure wh quite which. Get as much creep vine seed clusters as possible. That's going to be very, very useful to us. All right, where's the base? There's the base. I'm glad it started us off with uh, direction there. Yeah, what are you? Well, enough time for that when I have a, a scanner. Let's just keep gathering more stuff and... What are you? Okay. Man, it's very needy. I forgot how crappy your oxygen levels are at the start. Okay, this way. We want to get... Back to our home. This is so cool. I kind of missed Planet 4546B. Are we going to come up with a new name for that? What are you? Come here. Arctic Peeper. Okay. Ooh, what's this? Oxygen. Ribbon plants. That that's what I need to make batteries. Okay, okay, where's the base? Where's the base? Here's the base. Yay, we're in. Whew. Alright. Let's see what I can make now. Deployables, waterproof locker, I don't need that. Um let's do a battery. See about making us a scanner! It feels good to have a scanner. Let's see, can I... Can't do a self-scan right now. That's okay. Ooh, can... I can scan this, though. Scan everything. Everything and everything. Okay, can't scan that. What's... What can I make here? Okay. Let's see about making a new O2 tank. So I need to make fiber mesh. What do I need to make fiber mesh? Creep vine sample. In order to get that, I need a blade. How do I make a blade? Silicone rubber. Okay. So I can make silicone rubber. That's good. Let's do. Let's make another silicone rubber. So then we can make fins. 
There we go. Good. That's always a good thing to outfit yourself with. And a survival knife. Perfect. Alright, uh, so I got the survival knife, got the fins, and we need creep mine sample. Alright, let's go get that. I feel like I'm entering a different biome. Okay, here's the creep mine, uh, forest. It's different colored than before. Alright, inventory is full now. Alright, we'll, we'll surface in a second. Oh my. Okay, we didn't we didn't die. These things are so cool. Oh, there's there's part of an alien facility over there. I wonder if that's where we were before. All right, well, let's get back to the base so we can build some more stuff. New blueprint acquired. New blueprint acquired. What one what is that? That stuff. Well, that's cool. So, what is our main objective right now? Ooh, geological data. Okay, so this is all the stuff I scanned earlier. Well, I guess right now our only objective is to explore. Let's see what we can find. All right, let's stick you on slot three. And let's f explore. Ooh, it's all shiny. Grab some quartz. So it seems that the rest of our research team is kind of missing. And now our base is destroyed thanks to the uh, the bloody uh, glacier clashing down. Ooh, this is uh, can I turn off the hologram? There we go. Okay, so I can't turn off the hologram, but I have the light active at the same time. That's kind of a annoying. But whoa, I could have swear I saw something moving. Thirty seconds. Okay, going up for more air. We should definitely keep an eye out for those uh, oxygen Signal providers. Uploaded to PDA. Oh yeah. Robin, the boss wants a sit rep. I'm cold. I lost all my gear, and I'm no wiser to what's going on. But I'm alive. I can't authorize another drop. Hold on. There's an emergency Ooh, oxygen crash. plant. Hasn't been touched since and the scouts landed. Whoa! Six crash ago. fish. Be useful. Send me the cords. On your HUD. Okay, so we've got... What is this? Oh, these things produce crystalline sulfur now. I love it. Oh, wait. Sulfur plant. So, yep. We gotta, we gotta deal with crash fish here, too. I want that oxygen. Passing 130 seconds. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Alright, so I've got the coordinates to something on my heads-up display. Here we go. Emergency supply cache. Good. That would be great to have. Thirty seconds. Oh, that's funny. They put the uh, they put something into the whoa. Okay, this is the danger of being under ice. But anyway, like I was saying, if you look at the info for the peeper, like the peeper from the first game, but Arctic, help me, J.K. I love my job and it's early access. Yeah, hope you're enjoying the game. I am so far. Pretty cool of you to uh, put that little nod in here. I like it. Okay, it's it's dark under this ice. We have no clue what else is out here. Let's be cautious, I guess. Oh, what was that? Oh, it's one of you, the symbiote. All right, we got the symbiote scanned. Now let's get the supply cache. Why is it down here? Oh, this is probably placed like beforehand. 
High capacity O2 tank. Perfect. New blueprint acquired. 30 seconds. I hear you. Back to the surface. Okay, so I guess we still refer to the aliens as precursors? Interesting. Alright, well I got the supply cache. That's one good thing. Ooh! What is this? Blood root. Yeah. Oh, so this is like the uh, blood kelp zone a little bit. Okay, what are you? What is down here that's illuminating this whole area? Generic bull? <laughs> that might be, yeah, that might be a placeholder name. It's cool though. Okay, so here's the light without the, uh... 30 seconds. I hear you. I want to scan the oxygen plant first. Okay, I guess I can't. Okay, that's cool. That's acceptable. I guess it wants us to return home. I like the sound effects. Uh... Okay, here we go. Ooh, another one of you. You can give me oxygen. I've got a lead for you. Titan hole. Alien sanctuary in the twisty bridges. Two hundred meters down. I need oh, I to can't go, go down that far. Site. I can't let you. Why not? Why? Boss's orders. We're trying to keep you alive. Only because salaries cost less than lawsuits. Is that cynicism making you friends down there? Sure. They're just not human. The files are on your data bank. Do as you please, just tell me what you find. And don't get me into trouble. Okay, so that was basically the go-ahead to explore to our heart's content. Contained? Content. Discovered some months ago, operating all low power, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so this is background info about the research or the facility that we were studying. I saw something big back here. What are you? Okay, I, sh I don't want to pick up symbiotes. They're, they're potentially de dangerous. Titan whole fish. Perfect. They give oxygen. Where the hell am I? I'm just underneath a glacier with... Whoa. Alright, I get nervous about wide open spaces in the ocean. Because that means potentially big dangerous things, but... Although, if I see a lot of these, uh... Herbivores, that kind of tells me that it might not be all that dangerous down here. So I'll follow that. I'll follow that instinct. Yeah, this is just another creep vine area. That's cool. I'm happy with that. What did it want me to scan? Oh, okay. I'm, I'm fucking off. <laughs> I'll leave you to it. Wait, I don't want to head to the emergency supply crate. I want to head back home. In fact, I should probably turn the emergency supply cr supply cache off. I can do that, right? Yeah, beacon manager. I can turn that off. Perfect. Now I don't get confused. And that lightning storm is still going on. Woohoo! Is it Amalacaris that those things remind me of? I swear, I'm blanking on the name, but that might be right. Ah! And back. Ooh, let's see what else other stuff we can make. So I can make a high capacity O2 tank. So I need my standard O2 tank. I need two more glass and one more piece of titanium. So let's make as much glass as we can. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> glass. All right, and then, so I just need another piece of titanium. Easy squeezy. No, right, this one. Yay, this will give us, what, 75 seconds of oxygen? Oh, 135 seconds of oxygen. Perfect. Hello. Yes, I believe it's Am Amalacaris. Amalacaris, I think. I, sh I shouldn't be 
focusing on trying to figure out that thing's name. I should be focusing on trying to survive, but you know me. I'm a scientist at heart. I want to know what the... You okay there, buddy? You okay there, Titan Holefish? Holy crap! <laughs> he's having a he's having a hard time. Let's let's leave him to it. <laughs> right, is that what happens when you take up too much of their oxygen? They forget how to swim. This is cool and kind of creepy. Also, it is, like, I don't have my heater running in my room right now, so it is just as cold in this room right now as it probably is in this world. <laughs> At least it certainly feels like it. I have a feeling it wants us to go and explore this more in depth. I like how it has cavitation noises. What was... What the fuck? Spinnerfish? <laughs> what? <laughs> that is like one of the coolest beings I've ever seen. I want you. <laughs> I love it. That's adorable in a very dumb way. <laughs> oh man, where will the creativeness cease? I, I respect it deeply. I like, I call it stupid, but I respect it still. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Yes, dear. Alright, so I definitely need to make sure I don't suffocate. Don't want to die on my first episode. But I probably will. What is all that's down here? I have a feeling I'm going in circles. Wait, did they call it that a silver outcrop? But it contained titanium? Yeah, it says silver outcrop. I think it's supposed to be like a basalt outcrop. Potentially containing silver, but oh no. No, 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 I'm trapped. I'm stuck. Don't let me die here alone. Oh, there's the surface. Swim, swim, swim. <gasps> Almost made it, yes. Woo! My armor did something wild there, but what was this? There's a rocky outcropping on the ice. Damn it! Oh, I bet ya that I can get onto that ice. Let's try. And up! Here we go! Damn it! Well, that didn't work. Come on, there's got to be a place that I can get up on this ice, too. Nope, they don't want us on the ice right now. That's understandable. That's something for later. I should probably acquire more stuff to make another battery. Or, no, wait, I have another battery. I built one. What? Something was scannable there for a second, but I must have missed it. Let's see what else we can find. These are very cool rocky outcrop. Ah! Okay, so there are crash fizz here, but that. What the fuck is that? What is that? Oh my, that looks mean. But I want to scan it. What are you? What are you? Come on, let me scan you. Brute shark, cool. Let me scan you. Well, they didn't seem too intent on attacking me, so that's alright. They look awesome! Creature design is amazing! Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Alright. Ooh! More tech! And more sh sharks! Oh god! Too much noise! And I don't know what it is! Okay, well the sharks scream at me and then they don't attack me. I'm getting a little annoyed. Because it, it, it just startles me and then nothing happens. So it's it's like kind of a letdown in a strange way. Ooh, what's this? Propulsion cannon. Ah, run! <laughs> 
damn those crash fish. I don't even see them coming. It's just that they, they scream at me and I run. I've been traumatized by crash fish, I swear. What is this place? It's beautiful. What are you? Arctic Ray? Oh gosh. Oh, that got a little buggy there for a second, but come here. I want to scan you. Come here. Something yelled at me. Oh god, ow! Surface. Surface. Breach! Ooh, my arm went wonky there for a second. End dive. Because I saw something huge down here, and I want to know what it is. <gasps> it's a supply cache. Let's get it. What are you? Whoa, those sharks get pretty sizable. Um, what was that? That sounded like some big creature, and I want to know what it is. My curiosity overpowers my fear. For now. Mostly just because I don't know better. Like, some creatures that seem like they would attack me, they don't, and then some that don't seem like they'd attack me, they do. I lost my bearings. This way. I think. Oh yeah, there's more of that uh, precursor tech. Let's see if we can scan and find out what that's about. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Yeah, it's like, I got a feeling that those sharks are supposed to be attacking me. But, I don't know, something's up with their AI. They'll probably be very dangerous in the future. Is that a bone shark? I believe that is a bone shark, another one of our old friends. I want to scan it, but I also know how dangerous they can be. Um, yeah, let's turn back for now. Hello, breach shark. You are cool looking. Oh, man. I missed this planet, even though it was trying to kill me every five seconds. Got some more oxygen and head home. So if you're wondering why I'm swimming home analog, it's because my friggin' sea glide ran out of power and I thought I built another battery, but I apparently did not. Let's go ahead and build one. And I'm gonna call break time here. Thank you everyone so much for joining me. It is so good to be back on Planet 4546B. This marks the first and I hope a very long series of episodes featuring Subnautica Below Zero. Adventure awaits for us out there. I can't wait to see what it has in store. But for now, take care.